Hello and welcome to a final cleanup of the website so that uh, all those bits and pieces can be cleaned up. So first of all, when you post something, it writes this date here. Now this date is fine, but uh, it's not very human readable. Uh, Facebook does that thing where you see two, hour, two hours ago, three hours ago, and so on. So I created a function, uh, a class that will do that for you. So here is the class itself. So I will scroll down just in case you want to see what the content is. And so you can type it on your own if you want. So let me start from the top here. You can pause the video and see the text in there. And then you can copy. Now, if you are unable to copy, I'll put a link in the description to this very class. You can simply download it. All right, so let's see how this class actually works. So once you download or you type it, you put it in the classes folder, and then you open auto load, and then you add it there. So it's going to be time.php, and that's it. That's how you install it. So let's see it in action. Uh, let me come back here and open. As you can see in here, there's one function. There's just one function called get time, right? That's all you need to do. Get time and you pass in your, your time. Now these parameters here have a default value, so you don't need to worry about them. So you just need to supply past time is that one, okay? So get time and then you pass in your time. So let's see an example of this. So let's go to post.php where all the posts are actually happening. So post.php, and then let's find where we actually used a date. Let's go where we echo a date. So here, so instead of echoing a date, what we will do is use our class. Now, instead of instantiating our class, like saying uh, uh, time is equal to new time, this would be valid to do it like this, okay? What we will do instead is to access the function directly, this function right there, okay? So what I will do is I'm just going to say time and then put two double, uh, two full colons like that, okay? And then I'll say get time, get underscore time like so, and then put my time in brackets. So this is how you access a, uh, a function directly inside the class without instantiating the class. Uh, there are certain times you don't need to have an instance of a class, you're just going to do it like this. So let's see how this affects our website. So if I refresh. So you see now, instead of writing that time, it says 39 second minutes ago, 41 minutes ago, 13 hours ago, one hour ago, you see, so this actually makes uh, more sense. And those that were posted a long time ago, uh, May 22nd, two days ago, and so on and so forth. All right. So though I'm wondering why these uh, posts are not ordered in this way. They are randomly ordered. They're supposed to be ordered in a specific way. So let me see if it's a class or something else. So I'm going to go to post ID and then I'm going to say get posts. Let me find the function get posts. Okay, so order by ID descending. So everything seems uh, fine. So I'm wondering why. So maybe it's my function that's uh, not working very well. So anyway, you can try and use it if it doesn't work very well. Now you can get 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 rid of it. And one more thing that uh, we are supposed to look at because now we have uh, comments uh, as part of. Uh, uh, if you can see here, these are supposed to be actually comments, but they're showing up as if they are posts. So what we should do right here, where we are saying get posts. We're supposed to say where parent is equal to zero and 
you add the rest of it there okay so there we go parent is equal to zero that way we don't get any uh, comments instead we just get our posts so the same thing should apply on the timeline so let's go to the timeline because I'm not following anybody here so things are not uh, showing up so let me just go back and follow somebody at least let me follow this one then go back to my timeline and I can see some stuff here so there are comments here as well so we have to go to our uh, index.php where is this index.php so how does it get posts from here i wonder let's check it out create posts so it should be down here that's where the query is posts area okay so we get the followers uh and then we create the, the query right here so there is the query so same same thing here we'll say where parent is equal to zero so always when you want to just get posts just put parent is equal to zero and then it won't get the comments so there we go so it's uh, refreshed and ready to go all right so then when we come back now to our um, if i go back to my uh, profile here there's written friends which is not supposed to be there we're supposed to see uh, following the people i am following at the top there so let me go back to profile content default so where it says uh, friends friends where is that okay there we go so friends here should be following because those are the people I'm interested in the people I am actually following okay and also um, friends here let's see where that is coming from uh all right so it seems this one is the the uh this variable is being taken from profile.php so let's find profile.php as well and search for friends collect friends okay so get friends hmm. okay right so let's go to the users uh thing here get friends instead we should change this to get followers or get follow wing i think that's much better so let's see if we haven't broken anything of course we have so get following uh, okay now i'm confused let me go to my classes folder and go to the users and then get following it's saying the arguments are too little oh okay okay i should provide the type so first of all this should be user data user id and then the type of course user okay that should uh, save us okay so an identified index gender here that's because we don't have actual rows here so what i will do is go to the default content default right and then right here on this is not the friends row so for each friends as uh let me cut this as a friend single like so and then friend row will be equal to okay hmm. friend row will be equal to get user And then we're going to put the friend user ID, something like that. Okay, so now we need the user, 
where is this is it already access oh, okay there we go the user class so we'll come back here and use the user class with an arrow that should solve the problem there we go so those are the people i am following it's better to see those there all right then one more thing now um, if i log out let me go and log out where's the logout button at the top oh yeah before i go to that if i click edit you see that the icon changes at the top and like i said if i go to profile.php where is this i need to copy the contents of the code at the top here this whole part up to there and paste it on edit and delete.php it's the same issue so let me just replace these two lines at the top paste and then i go to edit.php as well uh, edit.php and replace these two lines at the top okay so that sort out sorts out the problem there mm -hmm. if i go back and hit the delete key still i get that and then now i can happily log out but you see when i log out i can't click on sign up there in case i want to sign up so let me go to login.php where is this login.php right and uh, here the sign up so i'm supposed to add a link of this so i will do that and then copy the a tag to the bottom here and then I will say uh, sign up dot PHP. That's where it should take me. So let me copy this. It's the same thing with uh, sign sign up. Where is it? Sign up dot PHP. Okay. So sign up.php also has a place where there's login and it's not leading to that. So let me close that tag. Login.php. All right, good. So what we've done so far is that if I refresh and then I click on sign up, it takes me to the sign up page so I can sign up. If I click on login, it takes me back to the login page. And the final thing to actually add is um, we are supposed to hash our uh, sign up. So let's go to the classes signup.php in the evaluate uh, function here. Okay, let's come down here. Last name. Uh, okay, so when we are creating the user okay so create user if there's no error so let's find here where create user is so there we go this is the one so right here where it says uh, password data password so we're supposed to hash the password right here before inserting the password so we will say password is equal to hash algorithm is SHA1 and then the value is password all right so because if we don't encrypt this password in the beginning then we'll have problems all right so that's it and in the next video the next video we're going to see how the whole thing works together so far so I'll see you in the next video